Right, I um, want to share with you today something I found which really helps me enormously to produce and edit my videos. And it's called Wondershare. And that's Wondershare Video Editor. You can find it at this URL at the top. And it's a fantastic little program. Um, it's very similar to um, Windows Movie Maker. There we go. But simply a lot more advanced. You can try the free version here, uh, which gives you limited recording and uh, it puts a watermark over. But you can try it to see if you like it or not, and then you can buy it now. And um, it's less than what, $40? for a lifetime license so I think that's very good value for money some of the things you can do with the program is picture in picture scene detection change speed audio separation enhance audio face off for privacy and uh, close up loads of effects and gorgeous filters as well and there's the drag and drop media and effects instant video editing magic and you can share your videos on numerous devices or straight to the internet um, it's a fantastic program and I like to use it and I'm going to show you now one special feature which I like about it and that is creating a, a chroma key or sometimes called a green or blue screen effect so this is what I'm going to show you now based on a video that I've just made um, and here I did a recording which had a blue, uh, sorry, a green screen in the background I was sitting at a small table and the green screen behind me was about five feet away so I didn't cast any shadows um, you can see there's still some light and dark patches in various places but that's not too bad it can be improved um, and this video is saved and dragged onto the timeline it's input here into the um, editor and then dragged onto the timeline but not in the video section because you can't do anything with it there so we'll just have a quick look what it looks like Fine. Yep, good question. So what we'll do now is I'm just going to drag this down into PIP. That is picture in picture. So um, a background I'm going to put in in the video section here is that stationary, sorry, static photograph, which was taken by a friend of mine, um, Wall from Scarborough, you know who you are Walt, thank you for the loan of the picture and um, you can see there's some gold and some silver hammered coins um, being photographed being stuck into the top of some old straw stubble very nice picture there, I love it well now of course the picture in picture comes up over the top of the main background picture so if you play it you can't really see the background you could take hold of the picture by clicking it, the picture in picture, and grab hold of the handles at the corners and change the size of the picture and that would show the background. Hello once again and uh, have a question like that. for you metal detectorists. What do you but of course that's not what we want to do. We want to have a chroma key effect. So um, when it's a picture in picture all you have to do is to right click and go to advanced edit or green screen and then you've got the top here the mask and the effect you go to the effect make parts of the clip attachment uh, a clip transparent so make parts of the clip transparent I'm just going to put a tick in there current colour is black it shows me in there you can't really see that from where you are but I'm just going to move my mouse over to the green background and left click and that selects the green and you can see how many colours of shades of green there are in there because it's only picking up a few but I can now use the intensity level slider here to slide that across 
until all the green has vanished and then OK that and you can see now you've got your background in the main video timeline you've got your green screen photography your video in the PIP and now if you play it hello once again and uh, I have a question for you metal detectorists what do you do with all these pennies and pre-decimal half pennies that you find just throw them in a box and just leave them there so there you have it. Um, it's really that simple. There's other things you can do with this program too, with pips. And um, I like to put my logo in the top corner. So I'm going to drag that to pip 2. And, and then I'm going to crop it with using the handles. And drag it and put it in the top corner there. And I like to show people I'm on Facebook and Twitter. So I'm going to grab that logo and drag it down to there into pip 3 and I'm going to just grab those handles and drag that down to the bottom corner there now I'm also going to just go onto those as well that's my uh, icon in the top right hand corner make parts of these transparent and just click on the white section that takes out the white background here you go look let's show you that again there's the white background gone Make that nice and small and put it back in the corner. There you go. And the same thing with that one. I'm just going to go over here. Advanced Edit Effect. And just click on the background. Make parts of it transparent. There we go. So now we've got um, the background. Three pips. One of them is a video. The other two are static images pictures and um, the backgrounds on the pictures are made transparent and I've used the green screen feature to knock out the green and if you play it now you can see all three running Hello concisely again, and uh, I have a question for you metal detectorist there you go so that's how to use green screen, uh, green screen and um, the pip picture in picture feature with the Wondershare video editor. Fantastic piece of uh, software and recommend it completely.